and we knocked them out at $1,500,000. I think she's out at $1,500,000. We're going to start with the world record price, records breaking at Sotheby's at $1,500,000. So there you have the auction <clears throat> that was watched around the world and particularly on the web. It was a Sotheby's first ever virtual evening sale last week. Now the agents were taking bids in London, New York, Hong Kong. 363 million was collected, which is a record. Charles Stewart, the CEO of Sotheby's, joins me from East Hampton in New York. He joins me via site. Charles, thank you. Congratulations on, uh, on a record-breaking evening. You know, when I, I think about it, the room is nice. It's nice to have the auction room, but so many bids these days are virtual via telephone that it didn't make that much difference. Well, I think, uh, first of all, thank you for having me, Richard. And I do think, as you said, the results very much spoke for themselves. We had an exceptional sale with a really high quality of work, and they sold very well. Um, exactly as you said, the key difference in this auction was that we designed it to be viewed entirely um, on a screen as opposed to in person. Historically, we've had the auctions live like a theater, and you're almost providing a, a streaming uh, a stream as an ancillary um, way to view the auction. This, this time, we flipped it around. What was the challenge in terms of that? Because obviously, anybody who was a serious buyer had pre-registered, re pre pre they had a good line to you, they knew what they were, so, so they, were, they were secure in that sense. From your point of view, what was the challenge? Well, this was the first time we'd ever done an auction in this format, and so there were uh, really numerous challenges, um, you know, starting with all of the health and safety issues that COVID presented with us and needing to do everything in a way that was social, socially distanced. In this case, in fact, we had our auctioneer, who you just saw, standing in London, and our phone bidders were based in a different room in London, as well as in Hong Kong, as well as in New York. And then we are accommodating bids, uh, both um, online as well as over the phone, all done in real time and, and simultaneously broadcast. It obviously took some, uh, quite, a, quite a great deal of organization. What I'm also interested in is the fact that some of the prices paid were record prices, which bearing in mind the economic difficulties, had you been concerned that, this, you know, that there wouldn't be the money to make the prices? Well, as I said, I, I think one thing that we're seeing uh, about the art market in general is, first of all, uh, to this point, it has been, in fact, very resilient. Secondly, uh, masterpieces, really A-plus uh, works by artists, um, have held up very well from a value perspective. Um, and thirdly, that in this moment of uh, nonstop um, COVID uh, news flow, that I think that collectors um, are actually, in some ways, more engaged in um, in art and pursuing their passion, and it's a very welcome distraction. Right, but on the other side of that coin, do you anticipate more art coming into the market from those who, who either need to raise capital or, for example, from companies that feel it's no longer their wish to have, like, a corporate art to, um, a collection. You know, if, if, there, is, if there are buyers, uh, are, is that matched by sellers? Where, where do you see the balance between those two at the moment? Well, yes, I, and that isn't exactly the question. It's really a, a question more of supply than of demand. We've seen that, that demand has been very strong. Um, we certainly haven't seen a great deal of panicked or forced selling to this point. But I do expect that supply um, in the auction markets, as well as in the private sale markets, will be very steady, um, certainly as people are re-evaluating their financial uh, situation, um, not to mention people thinking about estate planning in a, in a world of ongoing pandemic. Charles, you can't see me. I can see you. But I have a couple of nice pieces of art on the wall here. Uh, although, yes. looking at your shot, I can, see that, I can see that very nice piece behind you that's got a big orange dot uh, in the middle of it that I might be tempted to make an offer for. Now you're going to tell me it's an extremely valuable piece that I couldn't afford in a month of Sundays. Charles, <laughs> it is good to see you, sir. Thank you.